Hi guys, my name is Lainey and welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and if you enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. Today, I'm gonna to take you through a full day of eating plus my squat routine, glute and hamstring workout. Included in my full day of eating, there will be some mega macro friendly recipes. So make sure to watch the whole way through. In the sound. Good morning guys, it's actually the afternoon. It is 1 p.m. I have gotten up, I've had coffee, I've done my cardio, I've answered emails, and now it's time for breakfast. I know it's 1 p.m. but I practice intermittent fasting, so that means I do not start my food until later in the day. What you doing, Bailey? Are you playing with your noisy ball? What do you have, Bailey? Do you have a bowl? So for breakfast, I am going to make some scrambled egg whites with some baby spinach, some Hovis Nimble bread, which the macros are incredible on this. For a slice of this bread, it's only 8.1 grams of carbs. And I think it's great just for toasting in the morning. I usually keep it in the freezer. Also gonna have some of these bacon medallions. So the bacon medallions and the egg whites are all available for muscle food. And ooh, I'm gonna add in this low fat protein grated cheese into my egg whites. And it just makes it all cheesy and good and delicious. Comment below if you think this is a strange combination. Lex is having a cinnamon raisin bagel with bacon and cream cheese on it. I think that is a weird combination. I normally have it on like a savory bagel, but he says it's gonna be awesome. So I don't know, I'm gonna make it for him now. So today's outfit is a men's Gymshark hoodie in size small cause sometimes you just wanna wear them big and bulky. I have this vest, which I love. I think it's my favorite Gymshark vest that they've brought out to date. And it's kind of just a little bit looser fitting, not too body hugging. Flex leggings cause I'm squatting later and these are my squat legging of choice. Most importantly, I have my chucks on because squat day. I've had a bit of lower back pain. My squat has suffered as a result. I'm not squatting as heavy, but I still am going to go in and squat and just do what I can. I'm not aiming for weight. I'm just aiming for good form and just get those reps out. So I've taken the bowl off Bailey and she's trying to get it back down, but it's a little bit noisy. So you can't have it right now, Bailey, because I'm recording, I'm sorry. She loves her bowl. And I love tulips, because look how pretty they are. In the frying pan, I'm just simply frying up the spinach with some fry light garlic. I'm gonna add the egg whites then, and the cheese. Alexa's bagel ready, so we've got cream cheese, bacon, on a cinnamon raisin bagel. Hmm. So here we have the bacon medallions, scrambled egg whites with spinach, we've got the nimble bread, I have clover light, and some marmite on top, and I'm gonna put out about 15 grams of this 70% less sugar ketchup available for muscle food. Bring Lex's breakfast into him now. A cup of tea with the best of both milks. So it's fat free, but it tastes like semi skimmed. We need to go to the toilet. One glass left for wee wee. Yeah, yeah. So while the dogs are outside doing their business, I'm gonna make myself a coffee. I'm gonna use this Alpro coconut almond milk. I love it in my coffee. It makes really creamy, milky lattes. I use an espresso machine. So this is my Nespresso machine. I have this here for frothing the milk. Nespresso capsules are ridiculously expensive. So to save yourself some money, Gourmetso. They are a fraction of the cost of Nespresso. You can get them on Amazon or from their own website. They come in a number of different flavors. Nespresso do not do flavored coffees. They do limited edition coffees, but they don't do standard almond or hazelnut, chocolate, vanilla, all the different flavors that I like to drink. My favorite flavor is the hazelnut flavor. It's really tasty. There's a real strong taste of hazelnut off it. This is my money saving tip of the day. Get yourself some Gourmetso fraction of the price. I am going to make myself an almond flavored 
almond coconut milk latte. I'm going to use the almond flavoured gourmetso and I'm going to use some almond flavoured syrup. Two pumps of the almond flavoured syrup. I'm going to enjoy my almondy coffee with chocolate crunch grenade bar. This is personally my favourite flavour but I have not tasted the peanut butter one yet which I have a feeling might become a firm favourite but I'll keep you updated on what that tastes like. I have to get myself to the gym. It's squat day. I'm all set for the gym, bobble in my hair, wireless headphones, bottle of water, massive tripod for filming. It's a bit of a miserable day outside, typical UK winter day. A lot of people have been asking about my hair extensions. Yes, I took them out, so this is my natural hair now. And as you can see, it's quite long. The reason I took them out is because I just didn't have time for the drying and the styling that was involved in having hair extensions. I felt that in the gym, it was quite difficult to tie my hair up and I don't like having my hair in the way when I train. So even though they looked amazing, they did not damage my own hair, my own hair is perfect. I just found it quite time consuming having hair extensions in and that is why I have taken them out. serve you right they tell me to work hard i've been up for a few nights i've been doing this for a new life get my eyes shut for a new sight if they love putting you down go ahead say fuck that too right uh, worried about what's ahead worried about never getting that bread worry is constantly stuck in my head so worried it's harder to sleep in my bed i've read all of the comments you said got me forgetting the things that i dread shining the hope that i'll finally make it taking and jumping my fall you might break it i faked it pretending i'm somebody else traded my passion for some other wealth hated the fact that i was losing myself this pen and the paper the way that i dealt like what are the options when nothing is changing me so much more than just somebody famous give them a reason for Standing ovations, I'm patient, I'm loving the journey I'm taking to all of my friends who think that I've dished I never have time I can spend The fake ones just slowly keep breaking away The real ones straight up will not bend Couple are wondering how life has been Others it feels like it slowly depends What am I doing? What am I making? No other reason they ever hit send Always getting home late and I feel like I never have time Like I never have time, no time But they tell me don't stress cause that shit yeah it's all in your mind So crazy how fast all these months go by All these months go by, go by, go by But they tell me don't stress Cause that shit it be all in your mind No, yeah that shit it be all in my mind and I wonder if I pass up love Wonder if they only text me Because I'm the next one up This is all I want This is everything I'm needing They say they feel my passion With every breath I've been breathing I'm thinking too much Comparing myself with that man in the mirror But every time I'm looking at him I'm overwhelmed with fear Cause that reflection got me stressing The infection is real Cause I've been broken for some time And I just hope that it heals
the belly. I don't want you. Huh? <laughs> I'm in from the gym and I'm about to make Lex this. The ready meals are very convenient when you've got a man in the house who has to eat a lot more than you do because they're very convenient and then I don't feel guilty about him eating crappy food that he's prepared himself which would be a shake and a bowl of cereal. It comes in two separate little compartments. So this is the pulled pork with the beans and then we got some rainbow vegetables here. So you put this in the microwave first for a minute and a half and then you put these in together for another minute and a half. So all together it's three minutes and then you've got a full meal. So I hit up squats followed by a hamstring and glute workout. I really want to focus in and isolate those hamstrings and glutes and get a proper good workout in. I finish off my workout with an ab routine. I'm just trying to hit up abs as often as possible within the week, maybe four or five times per week. What you didn't see in the video was that at the end of my workout, I did some cardio. I just simply wanted to hit my 10,000 steps on my Fitbit. I was up to over 9,000 and now I am at 10,769. I have a daily goal of hitting 10,000 steps and I just wanted to go on the treadmill until I hit those steps. When it comes to cardio, it doesn't matter what you're doing for your cardio or how often you do it, just track it like you track your food because the cardio accounts for your calories out. So tracking your food is calories in, cardio is calories out. So here we have a very simple and tasty meal from Muscle Food. It's pulled pork with chipotle, beans and rainbow vegetables. These meals are about 4.95 each or for seven meals, so that's a week's worth of meals, it's 28 pounds. I think that's really good value to have for someone who is stuck for time and not really into prepping food like me. So post-workout, I am going to make myself a shake. I'm simply going to get some frozen berries and some peanut butter protein powder. Blitz it with some water in the Nutribullet. Protein powders and shakes are not essential to any diet. They are not a magic formula for building muscle. They are not a magic formula for losing weight. Like any supplement, they are there just to help you hit your macros. So for me, I'm just gonna make myself a quick and easy shake to help hit those macros and keep me satiated throughout the day. So I have 100 grams of the Black Forest Fruits from Asda. I personally add in the water first because it leads to less clumping of the protein powder. 30 grams of the Quest peanut butter powder in on top. I make my shakes up on water but if you want you can easily make it up on milk, almond milk, whatever you want. But the Quest protein powders are quite creamy so you don't really need the addition of milk. My Nutribullet doesn't appear to have been properly closed. Oh mid mess. So I am just about to do some work on my laptop and I have these. They are muscle food, salt and vinegar crisps and they taste like discos and they are amazing. So I'm gonna have these and then I'm gonna decide what to have for dinner. I think I'm just gonna make some chicken and sweet potato mash. Keep it simple, keep the macros, that's what's important. It's dinner time and today I'm keeping it super simple. I'm going bro. We have chicken breasts, broccoli, sweet potato, some Greek salad cheese. This is bro. I'm gonna beat this chicken with a rolling pin until it is super thin and super tender. I've got the kettle boiling, that's for the broccoli. Super simple, sweet potato mash in the microwave, four minutes, and I'm gonna add some of this cheese, cause I like cheese. Chicken breast on the greaseproof paper. We've got some classic barbecue seasoning. I'm gonna just simply season with the barbecue seasoning. I'm gonna cover it in the greaseproof paper and then I'm gonna beat it until it's super thin and then it cooks really quickly. So this is the key to making like a five minute meal. None of this 15 minute Jamie Oliver crap. We're talking about five minutes. Broccoli is on boiling. We have a frying pan with the garlic infused fry light. Get this shit started. So while the chicken is frying up on the frying pan, I'm gonna add the sweet potato to the microwave. It takes four minutes and then it's ready to go. Because the chicken has been tenderized and thinned out, 
it's gonna cook so much quicker. This is a really quick and convenient way of preparing your chicken. So get that rolling pin out and start beating the crap out of your chicken breasts. Sweet potato is done. Chicken is done, perfect. So that is proof that you can do a healthy, wholesome meal that will fit your macros in five minutes. So here we have dinner, chicken, sweet potato with some of the light salad cheese, broccoli. I have 15 grams of the red unholy barbecue sauce, which I love. Lex has the exact same, except he has double the sweet potato. This is a simple meal for you, your boyfriend, your partner, all your family to enjoy. There's no excuses. Because I always have to have something sweet after dinner, I'm opting to have a vanilla yogurt. So, Weight Watchers, I think they are 6.2 grams of sugar. I think it's about seven grams of carbs and 0.1 gram of fat. As you all know, I have a very bad sweet tooth. So tonight I'm going to be finishing off my macros with Options Praline Hot Chocolate. And these salted caramel pop shots, they are delicious. And the perfect way to finish off my macros for the evening. So I am going to enjoy my low calorie hot chocolate and relax for the evening with my lovely fiance. I'm gonna leave you guys here. Thank you for watching. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give me the thumbs up. See you next time.